to describe atom two terms are used the atomic number and atomic mass number atomic number is the fundamental characteristic of an element atomic number is equal to number of protons is equal to number of electrons atomic number is defined as number of protons in the atom it is also equal to number of electrons in the neutral atom now let's see what is atomic mass number the mass of an electron is very less that is 1800 times less as compared to mass of proton and neutron so the mass of an atom is mainly due to protons and neutrons present in the nucleus mass of electrons is so negligible that it is not considered while calculating total atomic mass so total atomic mass number is the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of that atom so by calculating a minus z we can get the number of neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom the shellwise distribution of the electrons in an atom of an element is called the electronic configuration of that element the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in the outermost orbit is 8 for shells 2 onwards if first orbit is outermost orbit then it can accommodate a maximum of 2 electrons for example hydrogen and helium let's apply these rules and get electronic configuration and number of electrons protons and neutrons in the atom of a particular element distribution of electrons for elements with z equal to 1 to 20 1 h1 where a is equal to 1 z is equal to 1 number of neutrons equal to a minus z is equal to 0 number of protons equal to z is equal to 1 number of electrons is also equal to z equal to 1 2 h e 4 where a is equal to 4 and z is equal to 2 the number of neutrons is equal to a minus z that is 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 the number of protons is equal to z is equal to 2 and number of electrons is equal to z is also equal to 2 3 li 7 where a is equal to 7 and z is equal to 3 number of neutrons is equal to a minus z that is 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 the number of protons is equal to z which is equal to 3 and number of electrons which is equal to z is also equal to 3 4 be 9 where a is equal to 9 and z is equal to 4 number of neutrons equal to a minus z that is 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 number of protons is equal to 4 and number of electrons is also equal to 4 5 b 11 where a is equal to 11 and z is equal to 5 number of neutrons is equal to a minus z that is 11 minus 5 is equal to 6 here the number of protons is 5 and number of electrons is also equal to 5 
6C12 where A is equal to 12 and Z is equal to 6. Number of neutrons is equal to A minus Z that is 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. Number of protons is equal to 6 and number of electrons is also equal to 6. Seven and fourteen, where A is equal to fourteen and Z is equal to seven. Number of neutrons is equal to fourteen minus seven, which is equal to seven. Number of protons is seven, and number of electrons is also seven. Eight O sixteen, where A is equal to sixteen and Z is equal to eight. Number of neutrons is equal to sixteen minus eight, which is equal to eight. Number of protons is equal to eight, and number of electrons is also eight. Nine F nineteen, where A is equal to nineteen and Z is equal to nine. Number of neutrons is equal to nineteen minus nine, which is equal to ten. Number of protons is nine, and number of electrons is also nine.
for element 2 he4 number of electrons are 2 and distribution of electrons is 2 for element 10 ne20 the number of electrons are 10 and distribution of electrons is 2 8 for element 18 ar40 number of electrons is 18 and distribution of electrons is 2 8 8 for element 36 kr84 number of electrons is 36 and distribution of electron is 2 8 18 8 for the element 54 xe131 number of electrons is 54 and distribution of electrons is 2 8 18 18 8 for the element 86 rn 222 the number of electrons is 86 and the distribution of electrons is 2 8 18 32 18 8 these elements are called inert elements observe the distribution of electrons of these elements except helium all other elements contain 8 electrons in their outermost orbit or shell helium contains 2 electrons in their outermost orbit that is duplet in case of first shell and octet in case of second third fourth fifth shell should be complete for their corresponding outermost shell Atoms of these elements are stable as they do not have to give or take or share electrons in order to complete a duplet or octet. Hence, these elements are chemically inactive and have zero valency. Hence, we call the elements helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon as inert elements. Let us see how valency is related to electronic configuration. The outermost shell is also called valency shell and electrons present in the outermost shell are called valence electrons. Just now, we saw that inert elements have zero valency as duplet for helium and octet for other inert elements is complete. We can also define valency of an element as the number of valence electrons if this number is 4 or less than 4. When an element has 4 or more valence electrons, the number of electrons required to complete the octet will be valency of that element. Now, hydrogen has only one electron which will be present in the first shell that is duplet for first shell is incomplete. This can be achieved by borrowing one electron, valency being minus 1 or donating one electron in which case valency will be plus 1. Let us now determine valency of certain elements which are forming compounds with hydrogen. In the compound HCl, the element hydrogen has valency 1 and its electronic configuration is 1. It contains 1 valence electrons. In compound HCl, the element chlorine has valency 1 and its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 7. It contains 7 valence electrons. Therefore, its valency is 8 minus 7 which is equal to 1. Hence, valency of chlorine is 1. Element neon has valency 0. Its electronic configuration is 2, 8 and number of valence electrons is 8. So, its valency is equal to 8 minus 8 which is equal to 0. In the compound HF, the element fluorine has valency 1 and its electronic configuration is 2, 7. The number of valence electrons is 7. Therefore, its valency is equal to 8 minus 7 which is equal to 1. In compound NaH, the element sodium has valency 1. Its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1. 
it contains one valence electron in compound mgcl2 the element magnesium has valency 2 its electronic configuration is 282 the number of valence electrons is 2 in compound ch4 the element carbon has valency 4 its electronic configuration is 24 and the number of valence electrons is 4 therefore its valency is 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 in the compound alcl3 the element aluminium has valency 3 the electronic configuration is 283 it contains three valence electrons is the valency of hydrogen in hcl and nah same in HCl, valency of hydrogen is 1 plus whereas in NaH it is 1 minus. Electronic configuration of Cl is 287. One electron from H is shared by chlorine making its electronic configuration 288. Thus, hydrogen ion acquires a positive charge when HCl compound is formed. Whereas in NaH, electronic configuration of Na is 281. Na happily donates its one valence electron to hydrogen, thus octet in case of Na and duplet in case of hydrogen is completed. Thus, Na plus and H minus ions are formed. That is, hydrogen here acquires a negative charge when NaH compound is formed. Thus, if number of valence electrons is 4 or less than 4, it is also the valency of that element. If number of valence electrons is more than 4, then valency equal to 8 minus x for that element. Summary In this video, we learned about atomic number and atomic mass. The maximum number of electrons in a particular shell is given by the formula 2n raised to 2, where n is equal to shell number. Valency is equal to valence electrons if it has 4 or less than 4 electrons and equal to 8 valence electrons if outermost orbit has more than 4 valence electrons. Now answer the following question. Write what will be valency of aluminium? For aluminium, find number of electrons, protons and neutrons. Also write electronic configuration in numerical form.